Told you can see clearly now the rain is gone. I've been in the house for months now. If you're wondering why I'm saying that, LG's display division announced that they have achieved 40% transparency on their OLED panels, and it's already set to roll out panels for commercial use later. Previously, the South Korean tech giant was able to achieve a commercially available LCD screen with a meager 10% transparency. It's no doubt this is a significant step forward. LG emphasized that the panels are full resolution and once again OLED. While most consumers probably won't have a use for this sort of display, LG is targeting the advertisement market as well as shop owners who may put up advertisements in their windows. Furthermore, this technology could also be elaborated in OLED screens found in phones better allowing for under-display phone-facing cameras. Hopefully this gets us one step closer to eliminating that EXTRA THICK notch. A new challenger approaches. Here comes a new challenger! Credible rumors seem to be circulating that Apple is going to start pulling their own chips in their laptops as early as 2021. This move would eliminate the Intel processors currently implemented in these devices and reduce Apple's reliance on Intel as well. Sources familiar with the matter claim that Apple has already worked out the plans with TSMC, the longtime chip manufacturer, to produce the new SoC for their upcoming laptops. Allegedly, the new chip design will be based on the upcoming A14 processors, which will be present in this year's iPhones. The new SoCs will use the same 5 nanometer process, what will be significantly faster than the processors both found in iPhones and iPads. Using the A14 processor in laptops would certainly allow Apple to exert more control over its already tight ecosystem. Hopefully this is a wake-up call to Intel. Speaking of TSMC, the Taiwanese manufacturer announced to its shareholders that it was already beginning design work and development on its 2 nanometer process. Seeing TSMC looking so far ahead like this is a good sign, and when you get smaller and smaller, more and more problems during the development phase have a chance to show. In October of last year, TSMC commissioned a fab to manufacture chips for their 3 nanometer process, and that is expected to be up and running by 2023. The question is, where do we go from here? Even at 10 nanometers, companies are still struggling with designing around the physical space of the chip, getting smaller than 2 nanometers and we're starting to hit the point where a new process besides UV lithography, lithography, I said lithography, it's lithography. Lithography. I was right, lithography. Hopefully the development of any new design process proceeds smoothly and we don't have any extended periods of stagnation. And with that, it's going to do it for this week in tech related salt. Make sure you like the video, subscribe for more tech content and hit that notification bell as well. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at tech underscore four underscore thought. And if video games are more your thing, check out our affiliate, cultureofgaming.com, for all of your latest gaming news, reviews, and opinion pieces. See you next time.